Professor, please explain the stimulus and response model. Yes, today I will explain the stimulus and response model that occurs in the consumer's purchasing decision-making process. The stimulus and response model is a theory that influences the consumer's purchasing decision-making process. As mentioned earlier, when consumers receive marketing stimuli such as advertisements, they undergo problem recognition, which is their response to the stimulus. At this point, the response occurs in different forms through different processes for each consumer. The theory that studies this phenomenon is called the stimulus and response model. Research on stimuli and responses originated from behavioral psychology and cognitive psychology, but recently it has been widely applied in consumer behavior analysis and advertising acceptance models in marketing. Stimulus and response models include SR model, SOR model, information processing model, and cognitive psychology model. The simplest stimulus response model is SR model. SR model is famous for Pavlov's dog experiment. When a dog sees food, it salivates. This is called an unconditioned response. And if you repeatedly play a bell sound to a dog just before giving it food, eventually the sound of the bell alone will make the dog salivate. This is called a conditioned response. The important thing is that whether it is a conditioned or unconditional response, any stimulus received will elicit a response. The stimulus response model also applies to consumers. In marketing, the SR model considers consumers as a black box. When they receive external stimuli, consumers pass through the black box and exhibit a response, which is the purchase of a product. In other words, the SR model is a theory that consumers respond by purchasing when stimulated by the external environment. The SR model argues the consumer's purchasing decision-making process by focusing on the consumer's behavior, not their mind. Therefore, the SR model is called behaviorism and explains that behavior is the sum of stimuli and responses. However, the SR model has the disadvantage of not being able to explain the complex and various behavior of many consumers. An advancement of the SR model is the SOR model. The SOR model states that even when consumers receive the same stimulus, they react differently. This is because consumers have different thinking styles, preferences, and decision-making methods. In other words, the SOR model theorizes that when consumers receive stimuli from the external environment, they go through internal processes within the organism, interpreting them differently and exhibiting different attitudes. Here, the organism refers to the consumer's past experiences, familiarity, emotions, thoughts, and value systems. Additionally, there is the consumer's information processing model. The information processing model states that when consumers receive external stimuli, they respond to them through processes similar to a computer's input processing, memory, and output. In the information processing model, consumers are considered information processors. The consumer's information processing process consists of five stages. Exposure stage, attention stage, perception stage, attitude stage, and memory stage. For example, when consumers receive stimuli from the external environment, they first detect information through the five senses of sight, hearing, smell, taste, and touch. This is called the exposure stage. Based on the detected information, consumers show significant interest. This is called the attention stage. During the attention stage, the information is organized and interpreted, which is known as the perception stage. The perception stage is also referred to as the comprehension stage by some scholars. Next, based on the perceived information, consumers make decisions about their attitudes. This is called the attitude stage. The attitude stage is also referred to as the acceptance stage or attitude change stage by some scholars.
The determined attitude may immediately manifest as a purchase, but it is also stored in memory. This is referred to as the memory stage. The memory stage is also referred to as the retention stage by some scholars. In this way, the theory of the information processing model explains that the response of a purchase occurs through these five stages. Lastly, we have cognitive psychology. Cognitive psychology provides the theoretical foundation for the stimulus and response model. In cognitive psychology, it is explained that when there is an external stimulus, consumers' attitudes are formed through the stages of cognition, emotion, and behavior. Let's take a closer look at the specific stages of attitude formation in consumers. When consumers receive external stimuli, they go through the cognitive stage of understanding the stimulus in their own way. The second stage is developing positive or negative emotions towards the stimulus. This is called the emotional stage. After that, based on the formed emotion, they move on to the behavioral stage of purchasing or postponing the purchase of the product. These three stages of cognition, emotion, and behavior are widely applied in marketing, such as consumer behavior theory and advertising acceptance theory, so please remember them. Ella, did today's lesson make sense? Yes, Professor. The stimulus response theory that influences purchase decision making is very interesting. Thank you.